Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely a big poetry lover. My last two years of college, I kind of spent like translating some Somali poetry and stuff. I'd say I'm from, I mostly identify with St. Catharines, Ontario. Um, that's like my formative years, uh, that's where my eyes opened, that's where I discovered running. Um, so yeah, St. Catharines is my hometown. And I discovered running mainly through just watching my brothers compete, compete in it, and uh, I was kind of inspired by my uh, two younger brothers. Um, and you know, mainly they, they were the ones that kind of said, oh, this is kind of cool, you know, to do it. And then. Based on like our battles, you know, we're kind of, I'm only two years older than them and you know, we yeah. battle with each other, just fight, basketball, soccer, every other sports. Yeah. Um, the competitive drive was kind of instilled in me and, you know, based on that, um, you know, I, I just fell in love with running and, you know, we watch track and field on the weekends and, yeah. My journey to join Bowerman Track Club, you know, it was, it was long, it took a l longer than I expected, but definitely when I went to Wisconsin, they were part, they were the OTC and you know, mainly I think everybody on the team during that time was former Badgers and obviously they retired uh, before I got here but um, you know, Jerry kind of reached out to me and um, you know, said hey, I think you'd be a good fit for it, for the group and I was ecstatic and happy and um, you know, and now you know, I think it's just me and Evan who are the, the yeah, Badgers on the team. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, but you know, we definitely are representing uh, Pascal as a former Badger, Jerry, um, and uh, you know, now I think the guys that I'm training with, you know, we battled all those years in college, and um, it's, you know, Chris, and German, Elliot, and, you know, Ryan, um, mm. you know, all those guys, uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of cool to unite and kind of be working together. I think, you know, strength is obviously like, you know, Jerry's uh, um, forte. And I think for me, I was a 5K, 10K guy, mostly 10K during college, um, or at least that's where I've presented the most skill or what have you. And I think Jerry just thought, you know, it'd be more, more mainly like 10K guy, but I, you know, working with him, I've kind of become more of a 5K guy too. Yeah. So I think definitely, you know, I bring the f strength and I've increased my speed and, uh, and stuff like that. So different abilities for sure, um, but for me, where I, fit in with the group is the strength aspect cool. of it and that's you know one of the strengths that I help the guys with so yeah I mean definitely you know we get competitive in workouts for sure you know we're trying to not like I think you know uh, Jerry sets a bar for workouts this is what we're doing this is the pace and you know it's tough you know one day one of us isn't really feeling great and um, we're trying to carry each other so definitely trying to I think mainly we're not really competitive with each other um, I think we're competitive, um, not, you know, we're trying to definitely help each other. Yeah, competitive yeah. with the goal that, that was set for, for us by, by Jerry, I think. And I, we're all about just working together and stuff like that. And I think the competitive, where we're trying to drive each other is taken out on the competition and on the race. Outside of the track, I think, you know, the culture is just making fun of each other um, and, you know, talking about random things that, that has happened and topics and stuff like that. Mainly like just making fun of each other because you know we're not really the strongest <laughs> people and we're trying to attempt this to lift some weights and we're struggling you know so um, mainly it's just kind of mindless stuff honestly you know Netflix watching something. Do you have a uh, show? Um, House of Cards I'm okay. into that. Um, it's kind of getting but, um, I, I definitely like that um, and <laughs> Yeah, that's mainly one of the big, big uh, Netflix uh, yeah. that I've been watching. But um, you know, I, I'm I'm definitely a big poetry lover. Um, you know, I my last two years of college, I kind of spent like translating some Somali poetry and stuff like that. So I've been I've been working on that, and um, it's kind of taken a while. Um, it's hard, it's really hard, and you know, I write I scribble some of my stuff, mm -hmm. but you know, I wouldn't really call it poetry. I Call it scribbles. A favorite of the ones that I've translated. Um, there's this one. I'm still working on it. It's it's taken me like three years of just kind of working, working, and yeah. I and I I definitely have like 
several different copies, um, but it's called Guerrillo or Anguish, and it's kind of talking about um, see, you know, the trans-oceanic uh, migrations from Africa, the Middle East, into Europe and stuff like that, and people risking you know, their lives to be on these little makeshift boats and what have you, and you know, I mean, thousands have died, and it, you know, the poem kind of touches on that topic, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's an emotional kind of um, you know, poem, but I think you know, very pertinent to our times and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't really memorized it, really, but, um, you know, there's some, yeah, it's a good one, and I'm still, like, struggling with it and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I mean, definitely Bowerman, Bowerman Track Club is, you know, one of the, I think, you know, we're trying to make it one of the best teams out there and best groups out there, and I think we have great resources um, available to us via uh, Nike, and Jerry Schumacher is such a good coach, uh, Pascal, you know, makes us strong, um, and you know, definitely the, the team that we have really clicks, and it's, it's definitely a family vibe, so I think, you know, we, we have fun, we work hard, um, and just make each other better, I think that's what we're trying to do.